this here like a simple water. Actually, if I just do this here, this like that, so I can actually show that um, if I have a, a source of sound, um, the fact it's um, your uh, wave fronts, so circular wave fronts are for, for a sound source. So I can, we well, can do things like uh, just like this, so just to show what happens uh, when you have uh, sound coming from two different directions and actually uh, how they actually pass through each other. How that, um, so something like that there. Fantastic. Okay. That's just uh, that's, uh, that's uh, you know, that, um, the, um, the uh, wave generator on its, uh, uh, on its own. You know, and they, I can then just uh, demonstrate what happens if I have uh, sound waves, water waves, and things such as if I have like a barrier like this. And if I then plug it into my here. And you can show them a couple of things. Uh, you can see examples for reflection off the barrier, but also what happens uh, when your sound moves past the barrier. You're seeing how, why is it, can I actually hear some, the sound bend around corners? Well, I can use uh, the water model to demonstrate how, as it's passing, the water model is actually bending around the back there. I can, ch I can change the frequency to see what happens to the water as they go past the barrier. Does it bend more? Does it bend less? So low frequency sound will bend more, yeah. and high frequency sound will will bend less. If you can see evidence of what's happening here, the, yeah. the, the water waves seem to be uh, bending further around the back there, and I can use the water model, even though it's not your transverse. Um, it's, so, so even though it's not your longitudinal, we're using a transverse model. We can use our water um, to, um, to model um, how um, the behaviour sounds. I increase, let's say, if I increase the frequency of the waves being made, do my waves get uh, longer or shorter? Do I increase or, sh um, or decrease my wavelength? And I can see clearly the waves seem to be a lot close, close together. So as I increase my frequency, so in high frequency the sound, the waves are close together. The wavelengths are. Is oh. shorter, low the frequency aren't... sound, the wavelength is longer. They're not travelling any faster, but what you're changing is um, if I change the frequency, I change the wavelength. It's actually the wave equation, which is speed is frequency times wavelength. That stays constant. Frequency. Wavelength. My speed stays the same.